Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dan and today get ready for an exclusive first look at something truly revolutionary for food banks. Our in-person, point-based shopping model. Now hold on, this isn't your typical step-by-step -step tutorial. We'll have dedicated videos breaking down how to set up every single component you see here. Today is all about exploration. We're diving deep into the system and experiencing it together and seeing just how powerful and intuitive it really is. Alright, let's jump right in. I'm starting on the home page of our demo food bank and I'm logged in with an administrator account so we can see the cool behind the scene features. Our first mission? John Doe is here, ready to shop, and let's get his cart set up. Imagine this, John walks in and the volunteer assigned to him simply selects his name on their tablet. And speaking of tablets, they'll typically have a barcode scanner connected. For this demo, I've got my trusty scanner hooked up right to my computer, ready for action. This is where the magic happens. As John picks out his items, we simply scan the barcode and BAM! Instantly pops up in his cart. Need more than one? No problem, just scan it again. Change your mind, a quick tap of the minus button and it's gone. But here's the really smart part. The system is dynamically tracking the points, weight, and any limits set by this specific food bank. It's all happening in real time. Now what if we go over a limit? Let's test it out. See that? A clear visual warning in red. And if you try to check out like this, a pop-up window gives me a heads up, but because we have admin privileges today, I can override this if absolutely necessary. Flexibility is key. Okay, let's say John's happy with his selections. We hit checkout and watch this. The card is instantly processed and seamlessly moves to our order history tab. This isn't just a record, it's a gold mine of information for admins. And crucially, it immediately contributes to our overall statistics, helping the food bank understand its impact. Inside our order history, we get a full picture. We see the total weight of John's cart, and check this out. We can easily toggle between kilograms and pounds with a single click. We also see every single item selected, the impact on his points, and even which amazing volunteer helped him out. Transparency and traceability, folks. Want a quick overview of what's available? The Items tab is your go-to. It gives us a live rundown of all the items, current inventory levels, those important limits we talked about, and their point values. And the best part? Need to make a quick change? You can easily edit any of these values right here. Super convenient. And for those of you who love data, we can even run detailed item reports. Want to see how your last cart impacted your inventory or see trends in what's being selected? It's all just a few clicks away. So, to recap, a volunteer helps a client shop, items are scanned, the system intelligently manages the points, weights, and limits, and once checkout is complete, the order is logged updating stats, and providing invaluable insights in the Order History tab. It's a streamlined, efficient, and empowering way to make a point-based shopping system. And that's just a taste of what our in-person point-based shopping model can do. Pretty exciting, right? Remember, we'll be releasing detailed tutorials on how to set up and master each of these features, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. What features are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.